You know, a lot of people doubted him. Well, he just kept his head down and grinded. And this team needs shooting. This team needs high basketball IQ. And this team needs defense. Keegan Murray checks all three boxes. If Keegan Murray plays well on the court and produces, that's the quickest way to make fans celebrate you. Not if, Kevin, win. I'm telling you, win. I think the Kings are really going to like Keegan Murray. From the very first time Keegan Murray picked up a basketball, all the way into the day he fulfilled his lifelong dream of making it into the NBA, he's always had a certain type of work ethic and mindset that's allowed him to overcome all adversity at every single level. This is the Keegan Murray story. Born on August 19, 2000 in Cedar Rapids, Iowa, Keegan would spend the majority of his childhood there and was pretty well known around the area, which was mainly due to his hooping skills. And while attending Prairie High School, in his four years there, he was named All-Metro Player of the Year. Locally, he was the hometown hero, but hardly anybody knew his name nationally. And by the time he reached the very end of his senior campaign, he was hardly getting any interest from college. And so after not knowing what route he would have to take, his parents came up with the idea to enroll him into an extra fifth year at a postgraduate high school. And that so happened to be DME Academy in Daytona Beach, Florida. Now DME is a private athletic training academy specifically made for athletes on getting prepared for the pros. Now attending there was a bit of a risk because since Keegan and his brother Chris graduated high school at age 19, due to the fact that their birthdays were in August, coming into their first season with DME, they were already 20 years old. But nevertheless, Keegan excelled pretty well there as he was able to lead his crew, averaging 22 points and eight rebounds per contest. But he was only ranked as a three-star prospect. Eventually, his name would start to gain some traction because when DME played at a showcase by the name of the Hoop Exchange Fall Festival, he did not disappoint. Now, following his extra season, he would receive a call from the University of Iowa. And just like that, they would offer him a scholarship. Now, Iowa's head coach, Frank McCaffrey, had already knew that basketball ran in the family bloodline because his father, Kenyon Murray, played there back in the 90s. And his twin brother, Chris, would also receive a scholarship offer along with Keegan. Now, what came with all that was a bit of controversy as a lot of people thought that Keegan and his brother were only given offers because of his father. But in spite of all the outside noise, his parents were right there to encourage him every single step of the way. Now, in Keegan's freshman campaign, it didn't start off so pleasing. He played only just 18 minutes of contest and was his team's backup forward. He would average seven points and five rebounds while shooting 51% from the field and just 30% from three. Now, that season, Iowa did have a pretty solid team, led by National Player of the Year, Luca Garza, who played the same position as Murray. Now, following the season, he put some extreme work and was determined to develop a jump shot because up until that point, his consistency from three was non-existent. That summer, Keegan and his twin brother Chris would spend countless hours in the gym together, which really prepared each other for the next season. Now, as Luca Garza graduated, everything had finally fell into place as Keegan was now able to spread his wings. In his sophomore year, he became his team's first option and averaged 24 points, nine rebounds, and shot 55% from the field and 40% from three. Following that year, he made the All Big Ten first team and was awarded the Big Ten Tournament Most Valuable player and it was obvious that he turned into a whole nother player from his freshman year and just like that he was projected a top five draft pick not too long after he would make history becoming the highest draft pick in the history of the University of Iowa as he was selected the fourth pick by the Sacramento Kings now entering his rookie season there was a lot of uncertainty going around what position Keegan actually played as he was sort of between a small forward and a power forward, but he simply did not disappoint. For that year, he was able to average 12 points to go along with five rebounds while shooting 45% from the field and 41% from three. And as he started in his very first own NBA playoff series, he showed a lot of promise as he averaged 10 points, six rebounds during the first round versus the Warriors. And even though they lost in a tough seven game series, you just couldn't deny the strides that he's made that year. Now, Coming into year two, he's made significant improvement. Up
upping his numbers to 16 points, 6 rebounds, and 2 assists a contest. When December 16, 2023, he put up a career high 47 points on 12 of 15 shooting from 3 point range, including a league record 11 made 3 pointers in a row in a win over the Utah Jazz. He would become the youngest player in NBA history to make at least 12 3 pointers in a game at 23 years and 119 days old, surpassing the previous record set by Kobe Bryant at 24 years and 137 days old. From being nothing more than a role player in his freshman year at Iowa to being regarded as one of the league's best shooters already in just his second year, Keegan Murray has came a long way and has the potential to help lead the young core of the Sacramento Kings to some serious postseason success. Big consistency has been the biggest thing. Um, working out, staying in the weight room and uh, all those things, uh, but also kind of just uh, putting in a little different things off the court, uh, whether it's dinner, whether it's going golfing and stuff like that, um, just to kind of get a freedom. And with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, this is the Keegan Murray story.